Okay. So six o'clock. Um, Ready? Would you like me to take it from here, Karen? Certainly. You're more than welcome to. Okay, then. Uh, hello, Ian, as well. Nice to meet hi, you. Hi, Julian. How are you, mate? I'm well, thank you. And uh, I've gone down the list. We have about 23-plus attendees, so I think we all probably say thank you and hello to all the attendees in the background there who I think are voiceless as we speak. But um, I'd like to say uh, thank you for coming along for this evening and obviously thank you to Karen and Ian for being in attendance as well. Um, this is our first time on a major Zoom event like this, so I suspect there may be a few hiccups. I seeing one already at the moment, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Um, so welcome, welcome, as I've said. Um, I'd like to open the proceedings this evening and I'm going to be introducing our president, Karen Bloomfield, in a minute. We know Karen's paintings um, with their quirky and unexpected views and shipping details and those big and bright dockside statements. Karen was awarded the Asthma President's Medal in 2019, which has obviously become the precursor to becoming the president, the role she's taken on over the last two years two very difficult Covidian years. But as a president, Karen has managed to a diverse group on the committee of members across all the states on this new platform Zoom. Um, this is something I didn't know very much about for 18 months ago, but it seems to be part of what we're doing and it's part of our official launch for the Silver Anniversary Exhibition. So without further ado, can I introduce uh, Karen Bloomfield, uh, ASMA president. Thank you, Julian. And I'd like to thank you for stepping in at the 11th hour to take on the MC role after Christine Hill was beset by technical issues. Uh, what's the saying? Technology is great when it works. Yes. So Julian, I'm thrilled that you're able to do this with me this evening. And I believe that tonight's presentation is a true indicator of the growth of our society. Firstly, I'd like to welcome and thank our esteemed patrons, Sir James Hardy, Rear Admiral Peter Sinclair and Kay Cotty. Your ongoing patronage leads a distinction and gravitas to the society for which we are very grateful. And a warm welcome to Ian Hanson, our guest speaker and judge. So welcome everyone, and thank you for being here with us tonight. This year marks 25 years for the Australian Society of Marine Artists. This is no small feat given the world that we find ourselves navigating in 2021. How special then that in a world full of disposable to be part of something that endures. Beach, boat, ocean, ship, aquatic, and all the extension, extensions of these are a constant source of inspiration and for many, connection and calm. We are a group of variables joined by a reliable constant. As artists, we seek growth and perfection of expression and the opportunity to share this with an audience. The aim of the society had always been to facilitate these desires. I wish to congratulate everyone who has put their hand up, stayed involved, added their two cents worth, or dipped their toe in the water in the shaping and running of the society over her first 25 years. All your little marks make up the work in progress that our society is in 2021. COVID meant that we were faced with the very real challenge of watching this important year slip by essentially unnoticed. The committee unanimously agreed that our members deserve to be celebrated, their work seen both nationally and internationally, and judged by a world-class artist for the honour of being selected to be recognised with an award. I'm very proud to be here tonight, to be part of the Society's first 3D online exhibition, to be part of the team that made this available to our members nationwide, and that during this time of cancellations and endings, we, were man we managed not only to provide something good, but maybe even start something new. It is my real hope that the Australian Society of Marine Artists will continue to grow and evolve through and beyond all of the challenges thrown at it. And I congratulate all members for your willingness to embrace the technology that'll help us get there. It's my honor this evening to introduce our guest speaker and judge, Mr. Ian Hanson. Ian has been painting since he was eight years old and continued his practice throughout his 12 years in the Royal Australian Navy. The success of his first solo exhibition saw him transition into a full-time artist after the Navy in 1975. I won't tell you how old I was. <laughs> his connection with the ocean, whether sailing for pleasure aboard his own classic 45-foot cutter or on board the James Craig on an extended voyage, 
reinforces Ian's deep understanding of the visual nuances of the ocean and the vessels that traverse her. I will not attempt to list all of Ian's achievements. They go beyond ample. I would like to thank him, however, for being here this evening to officially open the Silver Exhibition and for being a founding member and a friend to the Society. Without further ado, I give you Ian Hansen. Oh, thank you, Karen. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, these 25 years, it's amazing how quickly they've gone. I remember when it goes back longer than that. Back in 1974, I was at a book launch. Uh, it was a book by Jim Gaby, who was a sailing ship square rigger master. And it was full of John Alcott's, uh, Dennis Adams and uh, Ozzy Bretts and some other bloke called Ian Hansen. And Bob was there and he said, we should form a marine arts society. And I looked at him and I did a quick count on the fingers and I couldn't even get into double digits. I said, Bob, there's not enough people around painting maritime subjects. It's not going to work. And I walked away. But Bob, to his credit, persevered. It took him 22 years, but he finally got a group of us together 25 years ago and uh, we formed the society. So, Bob, you were right. I was wrong. Uh, and that perseverance today, you've got over 100 members Australia-wide. And the quality of art in this society is world-class. We could hold our own with any other marine art society in the world. Uh, I know a number of our members have been finalists, the Mystic Seaport International Art Show every year, although sadly the uh, museum had to close the gallery due to COVID, but hopefully they'll reopen it again in the future date because they were like the world championships of marine art. Um, obviously our government have uh, invited a few of our members too, like five who have all received OAMs for their service to marine art. So we're pretty solid grounding there on the quality of work that's produced. Um, so Bob, it's all to you. Thank you very much for your efforts. And today we've got Karen with her uh, formidable team holding the reins and let's hope the future goes on and on forever and gets better and better. Um, judging this show is a first for me because it's online and I had to rely on photographs. Yeah. But I imagine a lot of you realise that when you take a photograph of a painting, you lose a certain percentage of the magic of the, the image because that's what cameras do. And I feel some of the work suffered more from this camera kill than others, but I had to judge it on the images that were presented to me. So I've done the best that I could on the images that I was giving, but it, it is a little added extra that you don't expect when you're trying to judge an art show. Um, my philosophy in judging is pretty simple. Uh, it's the painting that holds my uh, attention the longest that usually gets the award. So with this one, I just flicked through everything to see what was there. And then back again, the start, a bit slower process. And you gradually just isolate the uh, standout works until you finally get down to, sometimes it's two. And then you've got an um and ah between the two. And when you get two close ones, that's where the highly commended kicks in. I had a brief from Karen saying not too many awards, like some art societies have first, second and third, and then a highly commended and two commended, and everyone goes home with a prize, uh, which sort of diminishes the award. So I thought, took on board what she said, and she's right, the less is best. So we've got uh, uh, only a few highly commended and then the uh, awards for the category winners. Um, so I'll now go back to Julian for the... Uh, in announcing of the award. Sorry, I'll just, I'll just get you to hold for a second because yep. I'm having a little technical issue. Um, I, I'm just looking, sorry. <laughs> we knew something would go wrong first time round, didn't we? Um, well, it went uh, so well the other day, so we knew this would happen. So <laughs> bear, bear with us. <laughs> and excuse the dogs barking in the background. Do you want me to talk a bit more, Karen? Or Yeah, certainly. That'd be great. Thank you. Uh, okay. Um, I, when I judge, I never look at the signatures. I judge the work as a work of art. And it's only after I've made my decision do I look, who was the artist? Now, some people I've known their work for decades, and you know straight away who painted it, so you don't need to see the signature. But I, I deliberately don't look at who's painted the work. Uh, and that's the surprise then when you find out who has. But that, that's what you should be doing anyway, judging the work, not who painted it. Uh, so it's a pretty, pretty simple sort of way to work things out. Um, 
for those of you that didn't get an award, don't despair. I won my first art award as, uh, against adults when I was 12 years old. Uh, but it fizzled out very quickly. And I had to wait 26 years before I won another art prize. So if you didn't get one tonight, don't despair. It's all about perseverance. So I'll leave that with you. How are we going with our problem there, Karen? Ready to roll. Yeah. Ready to yeah. roll. Okay. 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 So, um, Ian, what's going to happen is, if you like, I'm... I'm just going to read out quickly what the awards are, and then I'll just hand over to you to run through them, if that's okay. You may yep, be able to fine. see the, um, the PowerPoint presentation. So we've awarded a highly commended for watercolour, a highly commended for the contemporary category, a highly commended for the oil acrylic. There's a winner for the watercolour, a winner of the contemporary, a winner of the oil acrylic, and a winner of the traditional. And then there's a best in show. Uh, Two of us know all the answers now, three of us perhaps. So if I hand over to you, Ian, to start with the highly commended, and they probably will follow along with the PowerPoint presentation. Yep. Okay. So the highly commended with the watercolour section, I've given it to Cheryl Bruce for a painting titled The Strings That Bind Us. Now, I grew up in Harvey Bay in Queensland, and this scene I saw almost every day, the hire boats out in the trot system ready to be hired out. And the breeze hasn't kicked in, so you've got that lovely still morning, and it's the watercolours doing what they do best. And uh, they've got the atmosphere there beautifully. These boats are always kept immaculately clean because they don't want the seagulls getting on them and doing what seagulls do. So um, it, it just worked for me, this painting. It's just a watercolour stream. So well done. Congratulations, Cheryl. Okay, with the contemporary section. Okay, the highly commended here was Karen Bloomfield with steel. Oh, sorry, <laughs> ship and steel. Now, what I like about this, Karen, is that it's what you didn't put in, which I find interesting. You're looking at a small section of a ship's side and a bit of the rail and the deck and then the gantry crane, just a few pieces of it. And there's a whole big structure that's not in the painting. You can't even see the water, but that dark, gloomy, dark, ugly water there beside the ship and the wharf, it's always, you don't know what's hidden there. And of course, there's thousands of containers that must be around somewhere you don't see. And that's what I loved about this. It's what you don't see that makes your imagination run right with what you've created there. So well done. Thank you, Ian. And in the oil acrylic section, if we bring it up. I'll wait it's for you uh, Susie King's Black Wattle Bay. There we go. Once again, a scene I'm familiar with. Uh, back in the old days, there was an old junkyard up to the uh, left of it where they, all these derelict boats, trawlers, ships, barges were all pulled apart. And there was an artistic heaven. And then the council came along and made the bloke clean it all up. And now it's lost its soul. It's just a marina for modern catamarans and power boats. I wish they'd left it alone. But anyway, I just love the warmth and the glow of this. It just, just worked for me. So well done, Susie. Okay. The watercolour winner goes to Julian Brewer. <laughs> Oh, Ian. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Terrific when Ian's it works. dropped out for the minute. Yeah. Hopefully he'll come back on. He'll come back in there. <laughs> yeah, Ian. Oh. What Ian wanted to say was what a masterful oh, battle through. of Trafalgar he's seen. He's a far better <laughs> painter of them than I'll ever be. But um, he probably appreciates that I've done a little bit of my research and produced this um, uh, romantic, if not illustrative, version of the Trafalgar. So I'm kind of overwhelmed that Ian actually anyway, gave me any solution. No <laughs> troubles. <laughs> what I do like about what you did here, Julian, is that there's shadow in the foreground. So you're highlighting victory and Rita Tabla 
you know, doing a hammering. And it's obviously a bit later in the battle because the state of victory's sails and rigging, she has copped a hammering. The tabla that uh, Nelson was killed by one of the marksmen up in the mizzen top. So I hate to be in the Navy in those days because the mm. carnage and the loss of the a crazy of congratulations. Well, congratulations, Julian. It's an amazing painting. Now, this obviously is a crop of it. It's not the whole thing. But um, you yep. can see the, the whole thing in the exhibition at 6.30. So, um, Ian, can you, yep. can you hear me? Yes, great. Okay. So Yes. Uh, now, so I'm a bit out of order here. What's the next one is the Contemporary Prize? Or the... Yes. Yes. Okay. Contemporary Prize is Jeff Rigby's. The, they've got Coral Sea here, but I think it's meant to be the Coral Chief approaching Ball's Head Bay. Once again, yeah, this, this is a scene I see quite often because Hunters Hill is just a bit further up there in the background, which is where I live. And I, coming home in a westerly breeze, you know, get that, that silver sea and you've got a big bulk oil tanker here. And he's obviously deep laden because you've got four tugs in attendance. And he's only about a kilometre away from the Gore Bay terminal. And they'll be starting to try and slow him down. And, and I just love the softness of Jeff's work here. He just nailed what Sydney Harbour looks like in those late afternoon light. Uh, it just worked for me. So well done, Jeff. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, next one is the oil acrylic. Yeah. Oil acrylic winner was John Ford with his Nordhaven Copenhagen. Now, I've never met John, but this painting just worked for me. You've got that cold sky of obviously typical Copenhagen, and then you've got this subtle warmth of the buildings and then the rigs of this wooden boat festival going on with uh, all the warm uh, varnished spars. And I particularly like these water. It's, it's so real, you could almost swim in it. So this one jumped out at me. I said, that is a worthy, he is obviously a master of his craft. So congratulations, John Ford. Yeah. Okay, the next one is traditional or? Um, yep, traditional. Traditional. The traditional one is uh, given to Ron Stannard, the Doifkin sailing in Sydney Harbour. Now, what I liked about this work is he's he just nailed it again. It's just lovely soft light. And I like the viewing from another square rigger. If he hadn't put in sailing on Sydney Harbour, you could imagine this was uh, the Doifkin up in the Gulf of Carpentaria uh, being the first uh, European ship to visit Australia, except it wouldn't have had the, the viewpoint for another ship. But um, I've spoken to people who crewed this ungainly looking little ship and it's, she's amazingly seaworthy and handles the, the conditions quite well. You think it should be uh, not so good, but uh, it, it just worked for me, just the warmth, the... You know, obviously, Ron's a master at what he does, so it was an easy one to pick, that one. Thank you. It's beautiful. I love that one. Just before so we go... we're down to lucky last. Can we just hold there for a moment, Ian, and Karen, if you can hear me? Yes. The buttons I'm meant to push aren't functioning here for some reason. Are you able to do the elevation to participant? Uh, let me just have a quick squeeze. Sorry, I, I tried on my end and it's um, stalled. No, no. So again, the little gremlins. That's fine. I'm glad Thank that you. you brought it up. Sorry, Ian, continue okay, on. Yeah, that. we're away. Best in show. I've given it to John Perkins, the fishing fleet at Eden. Now, once again, I've stopped at Eden many, many times and he's just got it right. You can almost smell the fish and the, the, the scenery there. And just the light hitting the, the transom of the one for all there and a bit of the foredeck and then the cabin or wheelhouse uh, of the closer boat and just the warmth in the shadows and that, it just works. It, John is a master at what he does. I've, I've seen paintings similar to this before. He's done down in Hobart and that, so he's obviously familiar with these working boats. And it, it's just just standout painting. So well done, John Perkins. Congratulations. So, so congratulations to all, all the winners and the uh, highly commended. But as I said before, if you didn't get the prize, 
persevere with it because next year there'll be a different judge and he'll see things through different eyes. And hopefully you won't have to wait 26 years for another prize. So there we go. So uh, <laughs> thank you for listening and a good night, everyone. Thank you, Ian. Thank you. Okay. Did and, John uh, want to say a few words? John, if you would like to unmute. Yeah. Yeah. I think my granddaughter's here to help me because this is way over my head and uh, <laughs> it's just an absolute um, privilege to be awarded the prize. Like when I look at all the lovely work that went before, it's just amazing, and um, I can always, um, I really appreciate it, Ian. Thank you so much for the award. And um, if Ian's still there, I think I can remember an exhibition we went to one time, and uh, we, I still bring it up every time we, we get together when I walked in and um, Ian had an ex a painting in it, and I thought, gee, I'm going all right, and then I go in the other room and see Ian's painting, and I thought, thank Christ he's judging it, not in it, you know? So... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We've had a lot of fun. So thank you, Ian. And I do appreciate You're welcome, it. John. Yeah. It's an absolute honour to, to be awarded the prize, and I appreciate it greatly. Thank no, you. mate, you, you, you really nailed it, John. So well done, mate. Mate, I don't think I've got all the ropes in the right spot, though, because I'm, I'm, you know, what's close enough, good enough for a sign writer, you know? Oh, I think you got it pretty right, mate. They've, they've gone away from trawlers and they've got you know, more long line fishing boats. So that's what you've portrayed and that's what's there. Yeah, it's all good. Well, I always liked the old boats and um, it yeah. was done from sketches and, and the photo. And uh, I took a group of artists there about 15 years ago and uh, the painting was started quite some time ago. And I, because of COVID, I dug it, I never finished it and dug it out and I worked on it. And um, it's proved to be okay, but um, it was a fantastic trip with a group of artists. We had a lovely time painting down there, and uh, that's a long time ago now, so I don't do much plain air stuff anymore. It's all studio, and and hopefully, and I'm looking at Karen's work, I thought she could be very handy as a sign writer and helping me with the lettering on the uh, her work was fantastic. <laughs> I'm looking for someone to help me with some honour boards that's younger that can still do it, you know? Yeah, so, that would uh, be yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, you've got a good point there, mate. The printing's pretty good. Yeah, just got to get her onto the gold leaves thing and you'll be away. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, well, thanks, maybe. Um, John, before you before you go, um, yeah. so there is a certificate uh, well, all, for all of the winners. There is a certificate that will be coming your way, um, signed okay. by Ian, but also, John, for best in show, there is a medal as well. Wow, thank you. No problem. That's fantastic. Thank you. Best in show. Well, that's excellent. Thank you so much. So that'll be coming your way. I knew you'd come good one day, Perky. <laughs> you were, well, I owe it to you to be a member of this. Well side. done, John. Remember, you used to say to me you should be in this and... Uh, uh, I thought, well, why not? Why not? And then John Woodland was very instrumental in, in talking me into it as well. So uh, thanks to you and him, and I'm a member of your society. You know, it's just fantastic. It's just a shame we couldn't have it at the Royal, which we were looking forward to doing. But, you know, maybe next year things might improve. But this is... Maybe so next year, John, yeah. Look forward to it. Yeah, hopefully, Ian, that'll be fantastic, you know. But, right, well, um, again, thank you so much. Thanks thank so you, much, John. John. So, John, I'm going to put you back to um, an attendee now. Um, so you, Thank you. you'll still be able to talk, obviously. See you later, guys. <laughs> so while, while Karen's doing that, um, Ian, thank you very much for your impeccable judgment. <laughs> um, of course, I'm going to say that, but congratulations and thank you for your work that you've put into the selections. I saw all the entries. It would have been a, a very difficult task to select one from another, and I... Uh, support your comments that there's uh, as many unlucky as there are lucky but thank you for your sort of support uh, and Karen I think you have the President's Medal to um, award and again I'll, I'll ask you if you can do the elevation while you're doing all of that I know that's difficult I had one task to do was to do the elevations but my <laughs> own phone has said no but it's but fine thank you. Uh, we will muddle through we seem to be doing just fine so um, so, as Julian said, thank you so much, Ian, and, thank, and congratulations to all award recipients and expect your uh, certificate soon in the mail. So, selecting and awarding the annual President's Medal is the greatest honour of my year and one that I take really seriously. The selection process is unique to each president. However, the criteria remain the same, which is 
to award a member either for their outstanding artwork or for their outstanding contribution to the society. This year I asked myself who stands out and the answer was immediately obvious. This long-standing member has at one time or another held almost every position available on the committee, has generously shared with me his experience, knowledge and advice without agenda and has tirelessly published the bulletin for the last six years. Tonight, it honors me greatly to award this year's president medal to a member that the society is beyond lucky to have, John Woodland. And bear with me while I get John for us. I think as um, winning the President's Medal for John, that uh, is a precursor to his taking on the leadership of the society. I'm assuming that's how it works, isn't it, Karen? Like it. <laughs> I'm sure John will be well pleased to hear that news. I don't think he'd agree. <laughs> <laughs> right. I think John just has there to unmute. Is. Yep. John, can you unmute? There we go. There you are at the top. Oh, well, there I am, yes. <laughs> Congratulations, John. And just here you go. This is, can you see? This is your medal. Yeah, I can see it. Thank you very much, Karen. Um, uh, I'm very privileged to uh, receive that. And um, uh, actually, it's, 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 it's something that I, I didn't really expect. And um, and I, I was thinking of, of what uh, Ian mentioned uh, there initially about um, founding members. You know, as a founding member, um, I, I can I go back over the whole 25 years. And uh, Ian mentioned, um, you know, Bob's um, uh, uh, work in in, join, in in forming the uh, society. And uh, I have to also say that uh, Dean Claflin was very instrumental as well. Um, between the two of them. And I remember going to the very first meeting in uh, the rugby club in Sydney. So 25 years has come and gone so, so quickly. And over those years, I've, I've been um, uh, fortunate to meet and enjoy the friendship of so many people within the uh, society. And, and I think this is one of the great things about our society. It's not a, a huge society. It's, it's a rather um, a more of a sort of a niche um, society insofar as being a, um, a, a marine art society, a maritime, um, uh, painters. And um, as such, you know, we, we have a lot in common. And in more recent years, uh, I think we've seen uh, more of an influence by younger people, uh, which I'm absolutely delighted to see because that's what we need in our society. We need younger people to come through. And with their uh, idea of marine and maritime art is quite, uh, in some cases, quite different to what it was when the society was formed 25 years ago. And so we're seeing quite a lot of, of different um, uh, compositions that we wouldn't have seen 25 years ago. We're seeing art expressed in so many different ways. And I, uh, I think that's a wonderful thing. Um, I'm very privileged to uh, receive this um, award. And as I'm looking at my screen here, I'm seeing my mate uh, there. He, he's, he's a good friend of mine. I, I particularly like this bloke because he doesn't talk back to me. So we, we get along very well together. Um, uh, but anyway, um, uh, I, I think it's also probably as 25 years, we, we can also reflect upon those members who put so much into the society in the early years and over many years, and those who have left us, those who have uh, crossed the bar and uh, a lot of very good painters uh, have, uh, have passed away and... Um, Anyway, there's still a few of us uh, from the original lot uh, plodding on, and, and we hope to do that uh, for a while longer. But thank you very much, Karen. I appreciate uh, your uh, 
your uh, award more than uh, I can express. It's very, very uh, good of you to do that. And um, I, I thank you. Oh, I can't say any more. Thanks very much for everything. Um, totally deserved, John. Absolutely and totally deserved. So uh, there's nothing more to say. Well, thank you um, for coming on and receiving that award. Um, thank you, Ian, for your selections tonight and Julian for being the Master of Ceremonies. Thank you, everyone, who has stuck with us during our first Zoom presentation. I hope it wasn't too painful. <laughs> and um, just so you know, it is now just after 6.30 and the exhibition is now live from the website. So um, feel free to go and enjoy it. And I look forward to hearing some chatter about it over the coming days. Um, so Julian, if you had anything else to finish up with. Just a closing finish is uh, we had 33 attendees. Uh, so a shout out to Stan, John, Christine, Earl, Gwendolyn, Philip, Robert, Mary, Christine, David, Laurie, Leisha, Ron, John, 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 and Sarah. There might be a few missed out on that one because the list just kept getting too long and my, um, my little diary gave up on it. But <laughs> for those that attended, you know, we would look like absolute idiots sitting here talking just the four of us if we didn't have you. So thank you for attending. Uh, I think that's it. I think we're done. Right. Let's all go and crash the website. Let's go do it. <laughs> Good night, Ian. Okay. Good night, John. Good night, Ian. Good night, Karen. Good night. Good night, attendees. And still there. Congratulations, mate. Well deserved prize. John, can you hear me? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Ian. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, congratulations, mate. I can't think of a more deserved uh, winner than yourself, mate. Well done. Uh, it's good on you. Thanks very much, Ian. And I'll be, um, as soon as I can, John, I'll be organising. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll be coming down to deliver that to you. Well, yeah, we'll look forward to that. Lovely. <laughs> All right. I'm, gonna, I'm going to turn this off now. So good night, everyone. Uh, okay, good night. thanks, Karen. Good night. Good night. Good night, John. Good night, Ian. Thanks, Julian. Good night, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Good night. Bye, Karen. Bye. It's like the Walter.